Similar but perhaps less glamorous news, archaeologists are working hard studying insights gleaned from medieval feces. Yes, you heard me right. A new study published by Cambridge University now shedding light on the historical significance of old poop. And joining me now with the details is Dr. Piers Mitchell, archaeologist from Cambridge University. Dr. Mitchell, this is something I didn't uh, think I'd ever say. Now, you know, but you worked on this study. What were you looking for and what did you find? Well, the important thing about uh, understanding people that lived in the past is to understand all the elements. It's not just the jewellery, the pottery, the buildings, but you also want to understand the health of our ancestors as well. So, so, so one of the things that's important when we uh, understand uh, health in the past is to look at all aspects of health. Now, we eat every day, we go to the toilet every day, it's a normal part of health, but in many societies it's something people feel a bit embarrassed about, things that you don't talk about, but there's no reason for that. So the study that we did looked at the sediment that was from inside a, a shared toilet from the Christian quarter of the old city of Jerusalem, just north of the Holy Sepulchre. It dates to about 14th and 15th century AD. And what we did was to look in it for all the different kind of microbes and organisms that you would find in the intestines of the people that used it. And what's really special about it is that we didn't just look for parasites and, 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 and other objects using microscopy, but we also studied the ancient DNA to look at all the different microbes in there. We looked at not only the parasites, but we looked at the bacteria, the fungi, the viruses, the archaea, everything that was in there. So, what are, so what, yeah, what, what are the implications of this? Where, you know, how do you extrapolate what you found? Well, we all know that to have a healthy intestine in modern times, you have to have a well-balanced range of microbes in your intestines. We share our intestines with millions and millions of little microbes, and they help us to digest our food, but they also keep our intestines healthy. And in some modern populations, we find that the industrialized world has resulted in us missing or being short of some of the range of microbes that we've evolved to have as a species. And when that happens, you're more likely to have allergies, you're more likely to have intestinal diseases, such as inflammatory bowel disease, and you're more likely to have problems with weight gain and obesity, for example. Wow. So what scientists would love to know is what is the perfect microbiome to have in our intestines? What's the perfect mixture of all these organisms that we should have? And so the best way to study that is to look at intestine contents from before industrialization, before antibiotics, before fast food and sterilization and so on, to see what our ancestors would have had. So that's what's special about this research, is it looks at people from 500 years ago to see what their microbiome was this like. Is... And that will help us to know what modern microbiome should be and how we can help patients who may be deficient of certain groups. Wow. Well, so was there anything particular about the, about the samples from Jerusalem that you found that, were, that stood out? Yes. So we, were, we compared modern microbiomes in industrialized societies with modern microbiomes in hunter-gatherers around the world, in, in East Asia, in Africa, and so on. And then we compared with these pre-industrial samples. And what we found was that samples from Jerusalem and the other site we studied in, in Riga, they had some characteristics of modern microbiomes, some of the, the hunter-gatherer societies, but also uh, there was a sort of intermediate form where they were showing uh, a pattern that, we, that doesn't match hunter-gatherers or modern societies, which showed that in the past the microbiome was different to what we have today, and that the way we're uh, treating ourselves to reduce infectious diseases, because no one wants to die of diarrhea <laughs> or dysentery, but getting rid of those has the impact that we're losing some of the healthy, friendly microbes in our intestines that our ancestors would have had in the past. Oh, wow. All right. Well, I can't wait to see the full results of, of your research. Dr. Mitchell, thank you so much for being with us. It's been a pleasure.